Good morning, Bobcats, and welcome to WBLS. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Tuesday, May the 5th, 2020. The 5th of May is also known as Cinco de Mayo and is the anniversary of the Battle of Puebla, a holiday celebrated in parts of Mexico as well as in the United States in honor of a military victory in 1862 over the French forces of Napoleon III. So there's a little history for you today. We want to wish our friend Tenley Simmons in third grade, Miss Tucker's class, a very, very happy birthday. I absolutely know without a doubt Tenley will be celebrated by all of her sweet sisters and her mom and dad. And I hope you have a fantastically fun day, Tenley. Here is a look at our weather forecast for this terrific Tuesday. We will have a high of 90 and a low of 65 with sunny skies. I have to tell you today was actually, it felt like the first week of May. The humidity was not quite so high, but it, you could definitely tell um, it's the last month of school and um, the heat was out there today. We were thinking we were going to have some rain clouds tomorrow, but maybe um, those are not going to roll in as we expected. So just get out and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful first week of May. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance as Brooks Echoes leads us? Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Brooks, from Mr. Griffith's second grade class. Listen, guys, I'm inviting you. If you would like to be um, lead a, all of us in the Pledge of Allegiance, we would absolutely love for you to do that. All you have to do is send Michelle an uh, email with a video attached. It could, you, it could be you just by yourself. It could be you with your siblings, however you would like to do it. But we would love for you to help us out with that. And this is your opportunity to get on WBLS. So send me those videos and we'll get you plugged in to lead all of those of us who are watching um, and participating. You can lead us in the pledge. So not only is today the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, but it is Tuesday. So that's the most perfect day to have Taco Tuesday. So raise your hand if you're having tacos at your house tonight. I think Ms. Young may actually make taco spaghetti, um, which is a wonderful, easy, yummy recipe that kind of combines tacos and spaghetti. It's super yummy. But you might be thinking about having tacos. So often when we think of tacos, we think of simply um, using ground beef. But you might choose to do steak or chicken or fish or pork. You could do... Um, a taco that has more of um, like an island feel to it. Ms. Young found a really fun recipe for a dessert taco. And so it's actually a sugar cookie taco, which is kind of fun. So you make the shell out of a sugar cookie. You layer it with sour cream, which could be buttercream or icing. You can put the meat in, which would be brownie bits or something that looks similar chopped tomato. You could use some kind of red candy, maybe even um, Twizzlers would be yummy. And your lettuce and cheese, you could use shredded coconut. You could dye it green um, if you wanted. So just a fun, you might want to look it up and see what you can come up with. So I should have saved the book Dragons Love Tacos for today, but I read it last week. So you are going to get to see a dragon who loves a taco um, with Miss Mullinax. So I have got a few jokes to tickle your funny bone on this fifth day of May. You're probably thinking, Miss Young, they're probably going to have a taco twist. You're right, they are. So are you ready? Everybody knows this one. Every I know, but I still had to include it. 
What do you call cheese that is not yours? You're right, nacho cheese. Parents, that's a, a good corny uh, joke that is just about kindergarten through fifth grade level. So, but it's always a fun one. Okay, what does a sad tortilla say? What does a sad tortilla say? I don't want to talk about it. Have you ever said that when you're like sad or frustrated and somebody's like, tell me, tell me. You go, I don't want to talk about it. So, what does a sad tortilla say? I don't want to talk about it. Why can't your taco keep a secret? Why can't your taco keep a secret? Because they tend to spill the beans, like the black beans that you might have. Have you heard the joke about the tortilla? Oh, get ready for this one. Have you heard the joke about the tortilla? It was corny. You know you love it. You know, that's a good one. The joke about the tortilla, it was corny. It was a corn tortilla. I want to welcome in Miss Sarah Molinax, one of our guidance counselors, for a special area spotlight. Hey, Bobcats, it's Mrs. Molinax, and I am back with Paco for our taco mail for the week. And the word of the week is thoughtful. And this word has just really popped into my head a lot over these last few weeks because every time I hear about something wonderful that you or your family is doing um, to show kindness to others, that's all I can think of is just how thoughtful is that? I'm hearing about handwritten cards. I'm hearing about driving by people's houses to wish them a happy birthday. I'm hearing about dropping off food or fun surprises on people's doorsteps just to make them happy. And to me, that is just so thoughtful. So I checked our taco mail for today, and this was in there. And the taco mail question for today, it says, what is one way you can be kind and thoughtful of others. And I bet right now there's a bunch of ideas going through your heads because you guys are some thoughtful bobcats. So that's our word for the week. And that's our taco mail for today. And I'll see you next week, bobcats. Bye. Third, fourth, and fifth graders, I'm talking to you right now. My kindergarten, first and second grade, you can take a little break. Close your ears off for a little bit, or you can listen, especially if you're headed to third grade next year. This is a message for you. Guys, I got two emails today. Two emails from two students who have met the principal's challenge. What I need you to do, whether you told Michonne when you were in the library that you met the principal's challenge, which is all 15 Sunshine State books, I need you to email Ms. Young and say, hey, Ms. Young, I met the Sunshine State Challenge for my grade level. In third grade, I read and passed the AR test for 10 Sunshine State books. Just give me a quick little email and um, so I can confirm it. Fourth grade, you had to do 13. You had to pass 13 Sunshine State AR tests. And fifth grade, that's 14 for you. I just need you to send me a quick little email so I can absolutely confirm. I don't want to miss anybody um, as we are going to try and celebrate you and um, those of you who met that challenge. And so uh, I know Miss Kay did. Mr. Millard, did you? I can't remember right at this moment. I know Will Millard did, but if you have met that challenge, I want you to give me an email so we can check off and confirm and so you can participate in what celebration we do get to do this year. So I'll look for those today to come in. I really need them by Friday. So please get those to me. I don't wanna miss any of you. Thanks to those of you who have sent in pictures for Mr. Millard's book challenge. Um, here's a peek at what he's looking for this week. Hey Bobcats, thank you so much to everybody who sent in a picture of them reading in their favorite spot. There are some very creative spots to read and I got to see a lot of your favorite reading companions with you too, which was really cool.
I'm holding up two of my absolute favorite books of all time, uh, books that I used to read with my classes when I was teaching, and books that I love to share with my children as well. So these are my two recommendations for older kids, Maniac McGee and Holes, both great books. And my challenge to you this week is to take a picture with your favorite book or books. Have a great day, guys. So, friends, we've got Oreon Butterscotch and Miss Schmidt. I love to see her come on and share about Coco's Kindness Corner. You know, we normally have our mailbox in the library, and we don't have that right now, but we have an email box. And so, if you will send any submissions for Coco's Kindness Corner to Miss Young, I will forward them to Miss Schmidt who is waiting by her computer to get those messages. We have had a few, but we really want to hear from you. Now, Bobcats, what I'm going to say to you today is I want you to think about um, some special people that may have shown acts of kindness to you um, recently. It could be, how about your parents? How hard are your parents working to help you with learning? Now, you might be some days you might be a little, mm, maybe a little grouchy, maybe you're not listening quite as good as you should, maybe you might get a little frustrated, maybe you're not, and if you don't, that's wonderful, but think about how hard your mom, your dad, maybe it's your grandparents that are helping you during this time. You know what? You can send Miss Young um, a note about someone who's doing something kind for you. Maybe it's a big brother or big sister that is helping you. Maybe it's a little brother, a little sister, or a cousin. Maybe it's a really special teacher that's helping you extra during this time. Those classroom teachers are working so, so hard. So think about what you could do to... Um, honor somebody who is helping you and showing you kindness. Well, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr. Help me out. Be prepared. Be upstanding. Be responsible and respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. You know what? I just had an idea. If you would like to do the ending of the show, this part where you say, well, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr. Be prepared. Be upstanding. Be responsible. And be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Send me a video of you doing that part, and I'll put it in in place of Miss Young. I would love to have you do that. Help me out, Bobcats. I can't wait to see what videos you send into me. Have a great day.